People fear the ocean, and with good reason. We know little of what lies beneath the waves. Ironically, some discoveries, instead of calming us with knowledge, actually adds more to the terror. Today we're going to be looking at 10 terrifying discoveries made in the deep ocean. Make sure you stay tuned until number one. That discovery should serve as a warning to us all. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Islands of Gondwana. Earth once had a supercontinent called Gondwana. During an international effort to map the Perth Abyssal Plain in the Indian Ocean, scientists located two submerged islands one mile below the surface. Almost as big as Tasmania, they were the microcontinents that connected India and Australia before the two divorced. Researchers only became aware that there were microcontinents beneath them when the common basalt rocks they were expecting to find turned out to be continental stones with fossils. The Gondwana pieces that once glued continents together became islands when the Indian and Australian coasts moved further apart. When fully studied, these microcontinents will change established beliefs about how plate tectonics broke apart the pieces that became India, Australia, and Antarctica. Now, you might be asking, what's so terrifying about a couple of submerged islands? Well, the Earth kinda has a habit of shifting things around once it gets bored of the current land layout. These islands were submerged due to violent movements of the Earth's crust, giving rise to the world as we know it today. The thing is, this relic from the past will be our inevitable future. If that isn't terrifying, then I really don't know what is. Number 9. The Real Kraken The Kraken is a terrifying creature of legend that sailors in the past greatly feared, and rightfully so. According to old stories, the Kraken has the capability of sinking entire ships by wrapping its long tentacles around them. And then as the ship capsized, it feasted leisurely on the drowning sailors. Like with all legends, this has a basis of truth around it, and the creature behind the legend, although hasn't sank in any ship yet, still has the potential to do so. Experts all agree that the Kraken of legend stem from two massive animals of the deep, the giant squid and the colossal squid. Both animals are absolutely massive, with some specimens measured at an outstanding 45 feet long and easily big enough to capsize a small boat if they felt like it. The thing is, scientists think they can still grow bigger. Much bigger. As these magnificent animals are deep sea dwellers, they are seldom seen in the wild. The few specimens that made it to the ocean surface are thought to be juveniles as well. In their native deep sea habitat, no one really knows how big they can get. If there is one thing that would indicate how big they can be, just imagine this. They regularly duke it out with sperm whales and blue whales, two of the largest animals of the sea. Whale specimens have been observed covered with scars that were unmistakably from a squid's tentacle. A really, really big squid. So that kind of puts it into perspective. Number 8. The Remnants of a Dead Star A long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a star exploded and pieces ended up in the Pacific Ocean. It wasn't just an old twinkle that went poof, but rather a catastrophic Type 2 supernova. Mammoth stars that go supernova eject Iron 60 during their violent deaths. German researchers were drilling in the Pacific when they found the element with an interesting twist. It was observed in the remains of a magnetic bacteria. The Iron 60 arrived 2.7 million years ago and rained down over the course of 800,000 years. The bacteria, which had magnetic crystals inside of them, apparently snacked on the stellar iron. Their fossilized remains still contain the Iron 60, which is too young for Earth. That is how researchers knew its origins to be extraterrestrial, most likely from a supernova explosion within 50 light years of the Sun. Any ancient Iron 60 that originated on Earth is long gone. Now, think about this. If alien bacteria made its way to Earth before, what's stopping them from coming again? Supernovas have been exploding all around us for millions of years. What if they bring some form of alien life that wipes us all out like one of those cheap movies? Number 7. Prehistoric Sharks Sharks have always been classified as primitive animals. Animals that have been designed by nature so efficiently that they haven't felt the need to change much in millions of years. But sharks, who are already terrifying today, looked much different, more alien-like than they are today. And believe it or not, such a primitive shark still exists in the bottom of the deepest oceans. We've talked about it before, but meet them again. Meet the Goblin Shark. Almost everything about the Goblin Shark reflects the harshness of the dark underworld it calls home. With nutrients so hard to come by in the deep sea, energy savings have meant cutbacks in the beauty department. The creature's muscles are flabby, its skeleton is mushy, and its skin is nothing more than a thin, transparent sheath, low in both collagen and pigment. But no feature contributes to the goblin's ghoulish appearance more than its pair of extendable jaws. 
The assumption has been that the strange fish compensate for poor swimming ability with exceptionally far reach. If you can't keep up with your prey, why not engulf it before it makes a getaway? But those suspicions weren't confirmed until 2008, when divers with Japanese broadcast company NHK managed to film a goblin shark alive in its natural habitat for the very first time. Number 6. The Deep Sea Stonehenge A strange stone formation with more than a passing resemblance to Great Britain's Stonehenge lies at the bottom of Lake Michigan. The monolith's origins are unknown, but they are thought to be thousands of years old. The site was uncovered by Mark Hawley, a professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern Michigan University College and his colleague Brian Abbott in 2007. This is while they crossed the lake in a ship loaded up with sonar equipment, but the discovery has thrown up more questions than answers over the years. The plot thickened when the carving of a mastodon, a distant relative of the elephants that's been extinct for over 10,000 years, was discovered on one of the pillars, suggesting its origins could stretch all the way back to the last ice age. A similar monolith has also been discovered in Europe, this time in saltwater off the coast of Sicily, although experts believe these stones once served as a primitive form of lighthouse technology, illuminating the way for seafarers in a bygone age. Number 5. The Frilled Shark The Frilled Shark is a strange, prehistoric-looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea surface. Its long, cylindrical body reaches lengths of nearly 7 feet and its fins are placed far back on the body. It gets its name from the frilly appearance of its gill slits. Frilled sharks are only very rarely encountered in the wild, so little is known about their ecology. The limited information that scientists do have is based on dissection of individuals captured in deep sea net fisheries, as well as the observation of the occasional live individual in captivity. Although we know little about this shark, there is one thing that we all can agree on, that this shark is one of the most, if not the most, terrifying creatures that we've seen, at least on this list. Number 4. The Locomotive Graveyard When Paul Helper, the captain of the charter boat Venture 3, was mapping out the ocean floor off the coast of New Jersey in 1985, he made a bizarre discovery. Sat perfectly upright on the seabed, around 90 feet down, were two rare locomotives. Subsequent dives revealed the trains to be Planet Class 222T models, some of the oldest steam trains ever built in the United States. But how they ended up at the bottom of the sea is anybody's guess, really. More than 20 dives and countless hours of research have been invested in the so-called New Jersey Deep Sea Train Graveyard, yet their full origin remains a mystery. There have been countless theories on this very subject, the most likely explanation being that they blew off a transportation ship during a storm. But since there's no record of them being lost, this idea has to be filed under speculation and possibly aliens for now. Number 3. The Sarcastic Fringe Head Many people haven't heard of the sarcastic fringe head. Located off the Pacific coast of North America, these fish are usually less than 10 inches long. And at first glance, they're not much to look at. But don't be too quick to judge. These guys are fascinating once they actually open up. Other fish tend to avoid them, and not because they only respond sarcastically all the time. The defining personality traits of these fish is that they are aggressively territorial. They fight off anything that comes too close, no matter the size of the intruder. They have sharp needle-like teeth that they can use to attack their targets, and they don't tend to back down from a fight. Many divers have reported being harassed by a grumpy fringe head after getting too close to its home. Thankfully, their small size means they're not a threat to humans, so long as you don't poke your fingers where they don't belong. The great part about these fish, though, is how they fight. Once one of them decides an animal has gotten too close, it'll warn them by opening its mouth as wide as possible. Suddenly, this little brown fish gets much more interesting. They have gaping mouths, much like the gaping mouth of a predator. I'm gonna pause here and just let that sink in. Yes, fish with predator mouths. That's how terrifying these fish are. Anyways, their mouths are only for show, as they mostly use it to scare off other fish. But honestly, who wouldn't be scared of this? Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're gonna look at an animal that was discovered in the deep ocean, but it might as well have come from the farthest reaches of space by the way it looks. Number two. The Giant Mutant Wolffish When images of a mutant wolffish caught off the coast of Japan started making the rounds this week, panic ensued. But much like a fictional Godzilla, this fish is actually nothing to be worried about. For starters, it's not as big as it looks. Remember last year's giant mantis shrimp? It's just like in that photo that you're seeing here is the result of forced perspective. By bringing the fish closer to the camera lens, fisherman Hiroshi Hirosaka is creating an optical illusion. This is the same reason trees appear to grow out of subjects' heads in family photos and Frodo Baggins looks so small in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. 
All that said and done, this catch is still a very impressive one. Wolf fish average about three feet in length but can get bigger. What Hirasaka has landed is a very old and very healthy specimen. If you look hard and long enough, there's always a few that manage to survive long enough to achieve these large sizes. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, entire cities underwater. Atlantis isn't the only forgotten civilization buried many leagues under the sea. The remains of at least a dozen lost cities rest eerily at the bottom of the ocean near places like Greece, Japan, and India. The sunken palace of Cleopatra is one of the most fabled underwater remnants of the ancient world. It was cast into the sea when an earthquake and a tsunami hit Alexandria, Egypt more than 1400 years ago. And one of the most spectacular and shockingly intact submerged civilizations is Xichang, also called Alliance City, at the bottom of China's Qingdao Lake. However, this one isn't ancient. In fact, it was purposely flooded in 1959 to make room for a dam in an adjoining hydroelectric station. Mind you, this was after the city's inhabitants were relocated, thankfully. These cities serve as a grim reminder that the megacities that we live in right now can and will be underwater in the future. That thought really does send shivers down my spine, though. Which underwater discovery terrified you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about amazing discoveries? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.